Hello children, welcome once again to the PPM Academy. We are continuing on the life of Joseph and in this story we will see how Joseph helped Pharaoh. In this story, we are taking it from Genesis chapter 41 from verse 1 to 39. Pharaoh slept and had a dream and in the dream he dreamt and saw that there were seven fat cows that were by the river Nile. That same dream, he saw that there came another set of seven skinny cows. And the seven skinny cows ate up the seven fat cows. Shortly afterwards, he slept again and dreamt and saw that there were seven heads of corn, healthy looking heads of corn. And then he saw another set of um, seven heads of skinny, not healthy corn, and they swallowed up the seven healthy looking heads of corn. So when he woke up, of course he was worried, he didn't understand the dream. And he decided to call on the magicians and the wise men of Egypt to interpret the dream. But they didn't, they didn't understand the dream, they couldn't interpret the dream. Then the king's um, chief cupbearer, he was in prison with Joseph. And while he was in prison, him and the chief um, baker, the baker, dreamt. And just as Joseph interpreted their dreams, that's what happened. And he told Joseph that he was going to remember him when he goes out of prison. So there and there he said, oh, that he has failed on his promise, he now told the king that there's, there's a Hebrew man that was in jail with him that interpreted dreams to them and these dreams happened just the way he said it. So the king called for Joseph. When he called for Joseph, Joseph took his bath, dressed himself, shaved himself and came and the king told him that I understand that you are able to interpret dreams and you are able to do things happen. And he said, no, it's not me that it does, it's God. But tell me, and by the help of God, I would be able to do my part. And when the king told them the dream, he interpreted the dream and told them that there will be seven years of plenty, of, of prosperity, of abundance, and there will be seven years of famine. That's the interpretation. But I would advise that you would employ people to take charge of this whole process because God is, and this, and for you to dream twice of something that is similar in meaning, that means it, God has already decreed that it's going to happen. So what you need to do is to employ people, somebody that would add like a task, um, add this task of managing the seven years of plenty, so that we can store up the plenty, so that in the time of famine there will be no lack. And Pharaoh said, Ah, you are advising me to get someone to do this task. Who else than you? It's clearly obvious. It's obvious that you are a man that has the spirit of God in you. So I would I I would I would order that you be the one in charge of this task and that you'll be you'll be the highest man after me in Egypt. So nobody will be higher than you except me on the throne in Egypt. So so um, Joseph found favor with Pharaoh because God gave him the gift to interpret the dream. And not just the gift, but also the solution, not just the interpretation, but also the solution to the problem. And that made it easy for Pharaoh to just say, who else will do this job than you? And Pharaoh put him in charge of, of Egypt to manage that period of abundance as well as the pre period of of farming, praise the Lord. And wh while I was reading this, a lot of I, I got a few lessons from it. And one of them is that we should always remember that delay is not denial. Um, Joseph was seemingly delayed while he was in prison, but God knew where he was taking him to. God knew he was taking him for he was going to take him up for greatness. So don't forget. Well, when things don't work out as you plan, at the point that you are expecting, God is always in the works is always doing something that will favor you praise the lord and also remember that when you are going through a challenge don't give up don't 
don't give up. Don't give in. Many times people give up and feel that, oh, God has forgotten them. No, God has not forgotten you. Hang in there because as you are hanging in there, God will take care of you and he will glorify himself in your life. Praise the Lord. And if you notice, Joseph put in his best to do what was right at every given point in time. And he wasn't feeling sad that, oh, God has forgotten him. Praise the Lord. Also remember that all things work together for good. Just as our memory verse says that all things work together for good. To them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose, it is working for your good. The devil might have meant it for bad, but remember that it is working for your good. Praise the Lord. No matter what you're going through, remember God is in charge. Praise the Lord. I'll never forget also one of the most important lessons from this teaching today, you are a solution center. Just as Joseph was a solution to Pharaoh and the land of Egypt, wherever you find yourself, have that mentality, have that mindset that you are a solution center and that you will always bring out solutions out of problems. God will use you to bring out solutions in difficult times and people will be blessed because of you praise the lord i hope you've learned a few lessons today and make sure you apply them to your life whenever the need arises praise the lord hallelujah thank you